If I had a boat, I would sail out Take every brother and sister of mine Hello everyone, it is Thursday morning and I just got to the show. I'm not sure until this afternoon so I have some time, but I'm here to do my course walk early and watch people ride and hang out and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll hang out for a bit and then we'll ride and then I'll talk to you guys again after that. So this is my 1 meter 10 round with Amaril from Thursday and he was very good in this round. This is the first round that we're doing with a new bit because he was quite strong the week before so we switched his bit up a little bit and I think it worked out really really nice. I do apologize for the videography in this round, it's not the best and it does get short, cut short at the end but hopefully you guys can still get the gist of what was happening. Here, he was a little bit spooky coming in this combination. A lot of people had trouble with it, but once I just put my leg on, he stepped right up to it and jumped through it really nice, so I was happy with that. And coming around to this double, I was kind of trying to get him back, and then I feel like I got stuck on a little bit of the ad. So I felt like maybe one less would have been better or I should have supported that a little bit more. He covered it up nicely for me, but I wish I had written that a little bit better. And then the last line got cut short. So here's the jump off. For this jump off, I wasn't really trying to win. I was just trying to have kind of like a nice, you know, smooth jump off. So there's definitely places where I could have been tighter or a little bit faster across the ground. But overall, I was really happy with how he felt and how he was riding for me in this jump off. Yeah, so this is the last line. I thought about doing the leave out and then it just was way too long. So I slowed him down at the very end there to fit it in. Uh, but it was really good. We were double clear and we ended up fourth. If I had some time, I'd be biting it well. But my house is on fire. There's no one left to tell. Just take what is given. The doors have been sealed. Just breathe in the poison and hope God is real. So here is my 110 round with Amadil from Friday, which he was also very, very good in. So coming around to this line, I decided I was going to do it a little bit slower out in eight. Uh, and I kind of wrote it like I still had the old bit in and so I kind of slowed him down a little bit too much and I actually had to leg back up for the eight But it ended up working out. Okay And then this was powering speed, so this is the start of the speed phase, so I went inside there. And then here again, I just kind of rode him a little bit like I had the old bit in and didn't have as much brake, so I kind of really slowed him down and then had to push back up, but he was a really good boy there. And overall, I'm still just kind of a little bit 
like not used to this bit, so I feel like I'm still a little bit rough around the edges here with him, but he's being a really good boy and we had a very, very good week. So I'm very happy in this. He was double clear, clear in the, in the power and clear in the speed phase, and we ended up third, which was awesome. It's black, yeah, it's black. Oh, the water's black, cause it's black. This is my 1 meter 20 round with Wiz from Friday. I also did the 1 meter 20s with Wiz on Thursday, but we weren't that good and then we were good at the end, but I didn't have the full video, so I didn't show it. So yeah, this is my 120 round. We did the 120 division the whole week, but this was my first week during the 120 division, so I was definitely very nervous for this, but Wiz is amazing and he jumped so well and I'm so thankful for him for taking me around this. This is also a power and speed and he was really good. He jumped really awesome for me. So this is where we had the rail and I kind of just let him get a little bit too into the front rail there. So that's something I have to adjust to going up a level with how much room I need to give him compared to how much room I had to give him at the 110s. And there I felt like I could have supported him a little bit more at that vertical, but he jumped it really well for me. it just went down in this 120 class so it was really awesome This is my 1 meter 25 classic round on Sunday with Wiz, which is the highest I've jumped for a long time, so I was very nervous for this. So this first jump, I saw a long one and I kind of went for it. I could have supported that a lot better, but then I felt like I kind of reeled it back in and jumped this line well. These jumps were feeling, well the jumps, actually Wiz jumps it super easily, so the jumps weren't feeling big, but I was definitely feeling the nerves jumping something that seemed a lot more substantial than even the 120s I had been jumping. But I was really happy with how I rode this first part of this course. So here I was doing the out and nine and I felt like I could have done it a little bit easier and better because I kind of got him underneath this vertical coming in, but then he jumped out super well and the four was just nice. Now here is where I make my mistake. I don't get him back and I don't take enough of a breath coming around here. So we're still on a really big step and I come out of this corner and I just see the big one and I just kick him and go to go get it. And now he's on a really big stride and he's real excited and this last line's quiet. So I come in so big and I try my best to get him back and I don't really, and we do five and a half and we have <laughs> the last 
a vertical coming into that combination down and I was so mad at myself because it so could have been a clear round and it wasn't because of that. But overall, the weekend was amazing. Wiz was amazing. And if you guys enjoyed, please subscribe so you can see next week's video. And let me know in the comments below what you guys thought and what you guys would like to see.